story to tell. The Indonesian military is one of the two countries in the Southeast Asia shown the most modern man battle tank in the world, the Leopard 2. It's a bit confusing because Indo is an island nation, but why should a strong tank is needed? But maybe they are simply money people. The Indo military uses a variety of weapons from the West to Russia. They have both F-16, Su-27 and Su-30. They are also ordering the Su-35. Apart from shopping, the country also proactively produces domestic weapons. In the framework of Indo-Defense 2018 Expo, Indonesia impressed with many modern armor combat vehicles built by the country and displayed at the exhibition. Prominent among them was a Tiger medium tank. In Indonesia, it is called Harimau, a co-production between Turkish FNSS and Indonesia's PT Pindad at a reported cost of $30 million. The tank prototype, also known as Kaplan MT in Turkey, and from the Indonesia, the Kaplan was nicknamed Harimau or Tiger. It was first introduced at the ITEF 2017 Expo. In May 2018, the general manager of FNSS told Turkish Anadolu Agency that the tank had passed months of required qualification tests for the Indonesian army and was ready for mass production. He stated that the full number of tanks to be produced would likely form between 200 and 400. Currently, only two prototypes have been completed. Temporarily, the name MMWT is shared for both test prototype of Turkish Kaplan MT and Indonesian Tiger. The layout of the tank is similar to a standard main battle tank with the driver seat at the front center of the hull, turret in the center with commander and gunner, and power pack at the rear. The hull is a welded steel with an applicable passive armor package. Basic specifications include 6.9 meters length, 3.3 meters width, and 2.4 meters high. The MMWT has a weight from 32 to 35 tons, depending on the armor configuration. According to FNSS CEO, the MMWT provides ballistics and my protection level for firing of small arms, 14.5 mm armor piercing caliber, 155 mm shell splinter at 30 meters, and my explosion of 10 kg TNT under the check and the floor. It can be fitted with an add-on armor to increase protection to level 5 protection against 25mm armor piercing discarding cyber chaser ammunition. Interior of the vehicle is engineered carefully considering ergonomics of crew and different tactical and battlefield conditions including driving, firing and ammunition load and unload. Special type of driver seat enables operator to have adequate field of view with accessibility to all cabin equipment. Crew enter and exit the vehicle through a single-piece hatch covers mounted on the roof of the hull. The gunner and commander are provided with a sighting systems for observation during day or night, while the commander's position is installed with a panoramic sight. The tank is also equipped with a battery management system, a wireless crew intercom system, a navigation system and an automatic fire extinguishing system. The Tiger tank is equipped with Cartabilla C-13 DRG engine manufactured by the US coupled with a fully automatic electronic control transmission. With a capacity of 711 horsepower, the vehicle can reach a maximum speed of 76 km per hour the torsion bar suspension consists on each side of six dual rubber tire road wheels with the dry sprocket at the front, the idler at the rear, and track return rollers. The tank can negotiate a gradient of 60% and slide slopes of 
It can climb a vertical obstacle of 0.9 meters and cross a trench of 2 meters maximum. It can fall to a depth of 1.2 meters without preparation. The modern medium weight tank is fitted with the latest generation CMI Defense Cockerel 3105 turret, equipped with high pressure 105mm Cockerel gun. This is the most advanced and capable light 105mm turret in its class. The gun can fire both armor piercing and high explosive ammunition. According to FNSSCO, the tank is fitted with a CTCV weapon station designed and manufactured by the Belgian company CMI Defense and incorporates an automatic loading system which contains 16 rounds in standard configuration and 12 rounds in air deployable configuration. The 105mm gun has a maximum firing range of 4 km. Second armament includes one 7.62mm coaxial machine gun mounted to the left side of the main armament. The top of the turret can be fitted a 7.62mm or 12.7mm machine gun for shell protection of the vehicle or to be used against aerial targets. A bank of four smoke grenades dischargers is mounted on each side at the front of the turret. The Indonesian medium tank, specific designed for terrain configurations, such as in Southeast Asia, has been tested in challenging environmental conditions of Indonesia archipelago and achieved best results recorded for its class. The Tiger's design architecture provides superior level of battlefield survivability, which comprises advanced ballistic and best-in-class mine protection systems and adequate firepower against battlefield threats with great speed up response within a short period of time. According to defense analysts, this tank is considered to be a formidable opponent of Chinese VT-4 in the export market. VT-4 has the advantage of firepower because it is equipped with 125mm cannon. However, during combat, stronger firepower is not a decisive factor in winning. Sensor quality, fire control system, respond time to target are the deciding factors. The successful cooperation of a powerful means of attack like Tiger showed that Indonesia's defense science and technology potential is very impressive. If Indonesia sells MMWT tanks at a reasonable price with good after-sales policy, this vehicle will be a popular commodity in Southeast Asia. My video of Kaplan MT tank ends here. Thank you for watching. You find this video interesting? Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.